So now you've been introduced to a couple of equations that express the idea that charge in motion is the source of all magnetism. One of these formulas said you can find a small contribution to the magnetic field in some region of space if you know how much charge, what little amount of charge, is in motion and how fast it's moving at some distance and then there's a constant of proportionality, mu naught over 4 pi, and there's a vector cross product involved. We can illustrate this by saying the dq is this little bit of charge, and maybe the velocity vector points to the right, and so this uh, quantity r might represent the distance to whatever point in question. If I want to know how much little bit of magnetic field comes from this charge in motion at this location, then I need to know how far away that point is from the moving charge. So there's the value of r. r hat is nothing more than a vector one unit long. And then mu naught is a fundamental constant called the permeability of free space. And its value is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative seventh measured in units of tesla meters per amp. Okay, and then there is another equation that said there's a little bit of magnetism whenever you have current flowing through a little portion of a, a segment of wire. So, a long wire, a current flowing throughout, and there's one little segment of the wire, ds. So if the point in question is here, at a distance of r away from that segment, ds, there's a vector r hat, and the little bit of magnetic field is mu naught over 4 pi i ds cross r hat, and it's also an inverse squared law. Okay, well, together, these two formulas are known as the law of Bo and Savar.